Hi hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saint Terra. Hope everyone is well. Ugh. All I can really say is ugh. Another one of those weeks, I guess. But I'm plugging through it anyway. So here to knock out another reading. Who's gonna be the lucky zodiac sign today? Let's see. Aquarius. The star card came out. So Aquarius universe must be saying it is your turn. So, that being said, this reading will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For what's left of August 2020, if it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, please keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. All things can and be vice versa. They play out from the perspective of cross watcher. Cross watches are always welcome here as well. And if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, go ahead and check your moon rising or Venus sign reading. Without further ado, find out what's going on with Aquarius. What special messages does the universe have for you? Why are you here? Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are concentrating a great deal on work. Maybe you're putting work into a connection. We'll see what else comes out. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Seven of Cups. You may be feeling some confusion in regards to them. Or you may think they're the one who's confused. Take it however it resonates. What do you think of them? Ten of Swords. Okay. They could be bringing a painful cycle to an end for a you. Or you feel like a painful cycle in their life is coming to an end. Again, take it however resonates. What do you want from them? Judgment in the reverse. This usually indicates some type of return or reversal of a judgment call. Okay. How do they feel about you? The Hierophant. Oh my. Mm, that's open-ended. They may feel a very deep, blessed connection with you. They may feel like they want a blessed union with you. They may feel a deeper purpose to the connection. Take it however resonates. What do they think of you? The tower in the reverse. Again, they may feel like you're rebuilding something that's been broken, or maybe they think they want to rebuild something that's been broken with you. What do they want from you? The devil in the reverse. Huh. It's a card of disconnecting when it's in the reverse disconnecting from something potentially toxic or one of those cement shoes connections that drags you down away from the path you're supposed to go down. What's the obstacle here? Three of cups. Oh gosh, I was afraid of that. It's the only three on the board. I am not catching a happy-go-lucky hang out with your friends vibration off of this card right now. We'll see what else comes out. The obstacle could be coming together in reunion. Apparently that's what one of you wants, so... Huh. Huh. Okay. Ooh. What needs to be done? Five of Cups. What? This could have something to do with processing a sadness as well. I mean, sure, the event happened, but did you process what happened? Did you take the time to grieve over the three spelt cups? Or did you just whip by, right back around and be like, ah, I still got two cups, I'm good. How'd you handle it? Okay. 
Let's get some clarity. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get clarity? The cards on the table for Aquarius, August 2020. Why is the Seven of Cups reversed here? Oh, that was an immediate answer. Page of Swords in the upright. Mixed messages. Possibly some community confusing communication coming out of the person you're dealing with, or at least in your eyes it could be slightly confusing. Huh. Mixed signals, eh? Alright, why is the Ten of Swords here? I want 20 cards. Oh my goodness. Six of Cups, Seven of Swords, Temperance, and the Reverse. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Sorry, what do you think of the person you're dealing with? Ah, you yeah, all go way back with the Six of Cups. Potentially, like, past life way back. But, at the very least, it's probably someone you knew from childhood. And but there was negative energy. You guys didn't get along so well. You didn't interact so well together. Potentially there was secrets or some lies and deception involved in the connection. Potentially. Okay. Why is judgment reversed here? Ten of cups in the upright. Well, that was immediate, wasn't it? Hmm. Okay. One more. Knight of pentacles reversed. What do you want from them? A reversal of judgment. You want the fairy tale ending. But you want it to come slowly. You want them to take their time. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Take your time. Two of Wands. Letting go of the past and moving forward toward the future. You potentially want a, a rerun and you want them to throw out all the other potential offers, too. Okay. Why is Hierophant here? For how the other person feels about Aquarius. Ooh. Pardon me. My goodness. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, wow. They want the blessed union and the big prick hours with the white picket fence with you. They want the 2.5 kids and the dog. The pool out back. The little gazebo with the seats. You know. The cute stuff. They want a future with you. What do they think of you? 
Why is the tower reversed here for what they think of Aquarius? Thanks. Fool. Oh my. Phoenix up out of the ashes. Queen of Pentacles. Fool and the Queen of Pentacles. It's the bat signal. I'm reading. <laughs> it's my little Aquarian baby right out there. Rebuilding. They see you as a catch. They may think that you jump into things a little bit too quickly sometimes, potentially. It's about rebuilding and it's abundance and they want to rebuild with you. They want to jump with you. They want to take that leap of faith. That is beautiful. Oh my God. Why is the devil reversed here for what they want? Knight of Cups! Love it! Kinda. One more, please. You're not taking 20 cards. You're gonna give me one. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Oh, I get it. There may be someone else involved in this. After all, there's that three. They want you to disconnect from all the Joes or the Janes or, you know, whoever I'm talking about you keep coming in and out of your life. They come in with the cup, they fill your cup, or they dump their cup, or however you want to put it. They leave. Your heart breaks. You pick yourself up, you dust yourself off, you, you move on, you become independent. They come back, they do the same thing again. It's a vicious cycle. They want you to disconnect from that. Well, that's cute. Okay, well, why is the Three of Cups here for the obstacle or challenge? Four of Cups reversed. Eight of Swords reversed. The tower. Shaky foundations and stormy weather. Two cards of ignoring. Potential third party situation here. Three is I got four is I got twelve is it? I sit and do the numerology on it. Wow. Okay. 
it's balance. The obstacles to coming together. The obstacle is some of you could just be being friends is the obstacle. Or just being friends. Know what I'm saying? Being just friends. It's all about verbiage. Could be a third party situation. Someone is ignoring the cup that's trying to be handed to them. Someone is just ignoring their feelings and not processing them. Not thinking about this at all. This is a very unsteady foundation. And then quick and abrupt change happens quite often in this connection, whoever this may be. I don't think this is your first go around. I got a lot of reunion cards. I got a lot of do over cards. I got a six of cups. What's going on here, guys? All right, what can be done? Five of cups. Why is the five of cups here? I'm not taking 20 cards. You're going to give me one or two, maybe three. I'm not beating a dead horse tonight either. Nine of wands. Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Somebody needs to process their emotions before they flare up and go all kaboom. This Queen of Wands reversed. Communication needs to happen, obviously. Obviously, with this Knight of Swords. Or unblocking the lines of communication, I should say, if they've been blocked. Somebody's got to extend the old olive branch, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, some, one of you needs to extend the olive branch. There's a bunch of them sticking up out of the ground here. One last go round. Got one last round in you. One of you may have built walls. I. One more. Why is Nine of Wands here? Thanks. Hermit reversed. Oh, wow. That's more like a don't. Some of you may want to douse out that light and hide in that little box where it's safe and just be an ostrich with your face in the ground. No. Never been that kind of person. I try to do all, let the cards do all the talking, but sometimes it's very hard. Let's get some advice for my Aquarian friends. Knight of Pentacles reversed five of swords upright. Ace of Wands reversed, Two of Wands reversed. Oh, decision time. Oh, decision time. Hmm. Wow. That's profound. I'm going to run with that. Thanks. Okay. So... Before you make any moves, before you strike any matches, before you let go of any wands and move forward, 
before you take your foot off the brake pedal and reapply it to the gas, let off the e-brake before you can move forward with this. You have to pick up the pieces and cross. Pick up the pieces. Pick up the pieces. Process the pain. You didn't do that. I think this is just something that it was like meh. You just had a meh and you moved on. But the meh stuck with you. So it wasn't such a meh, huh? Meh. You had deeper feelings about this than you acknowledged, and I think you need to acknowledge them. It is nearly the season for those towers to be rebuilt again. Y'all know what season I'm talking about. We just got out of one. And here within a few weeks, we're going to be back into another one. It's everybody's favorite season. The old ghosts you thought were long dead and gone come back to haunt you. The house plant you left out on the back porch all of a sudden starts sprouting. Oh yes, Mercury retrograde. All those cards just fell, so... Hmm. I can't remember how those were when I laid them down. It's okay. We're on with it. The sin of the reverse, the king of pentacles in the upright. Well, that's deciding what you truly want, isn't it? They can be able to buy you every little thing in the world, give you every little thing you ever wanted, the material junk, but if the connection isn't there and you're not happy, what does all the material junk in the world mean? Ask yourself that. Five of Cups separate Moon in the Reverse. Part of that acceptance and part of that picking up the pieces before you can move on is the acceptance of you may never know why. It will all be illuminated when it is supposed to and you will have your grand aha moment if you are meant to. But if you never do, don't let that screw up your journey. Because it's it's almost worse than never stepping forward. <laughs> Sweep the eggshells out of your path before you walk. Because it's your path. I wouldn't want to walk on eggshells. Alright. You guys have been wonderful. Thank you for your patience. Let me know if it resonated. I don't know. I've been sick, guys. Every morning it's something else. I think my stuff's starting to flare up again. I think I'm working too much at my real job. I don't know. I got a vacation coming up, so I'll get them out as fast as I can. Thanks for stopping. Catch you in a couple of weeks for the next cycle. Be blessed, friends.